Okay, we're back. Um, okay, so we understand that two of the bids contained in the original introduction had issues uh, meeting the notice requirements, so the legislation we are considering today is limited to the three bids, Columbus Amsterdam, Fifth Avenue, uh, Court Livingston Skimmerhorn, uh, oh, that are according to the Department of Small Business Services, got their notices published. Deputy Commissioner Calvin Brown from the Department of Small Business Services is here today to testify regarding the requested assessment increases, and representatives from the three bids are here to answer any questions that my colleagues might have. First, we'll hear from Deputy Commissioner Brown after he is sworn in by counsel. Good morning, I'm going to swear you in. Mr. Brown, do you affirm that your testimony will be truthful to the best of your knowledge, information, and belief? Yes. Thank you. You may proceed when you're ready. Thank you. Oh, that would help, right? <laughs> um, good morning, Chair Brennan and the members of the Finance Committee. My name is Calvin Brown, and I'm the Deputy Commissioner for Neighborhood Development at the Department for Small Business Services. I'm joined by Emily Edwards, Senior Project Manager, and Leslie Velasquez, Project Manager um, at the Neighborhood Development Department of Small Business Services and our bid team. I wish to express our support for the law providing an increase in the amount to be expended in three business improvement districts or bids. At SBS, we are working hard to open the doors across New York five boroughs, focusing on creating stronger businesses, connecting New Yorkers to jobs, fostering thriving neighborhoods. We oversee and support the city's network of bids and groups who wish to form new bids in their communities. Over the past two and a half years, we have provided bids with vital information about SBS programs and resources, city regulations, and changing conditions that affect the businesses in their corridors. My team has coordinated hundreds of hours of interagency responses through regular calls and partnerships with other agencies on open restaurants, open streets, quality of life issues, and other recovery programs. We believe bids are central to these efforts and invaluable proven partners in forcing the vitality of the city neighborhoods and commercial districts. Throughout the pandemic and recovery, bids have become, have been called upon to deliver an increased level of services and support to small businesses the mayor's economic blueprint for recovery also places bids at the front and center in several initiatives and rebuild and reinvent our commercial corridors and central business districts. In order to respond to these new challenges and opportunities, every single bid in the network has been evaluating their budgets and for savings and efficiencies. Part of our role in overseeing and supporting the city's existing network of 76 bids includes guiding them through the legislative process, including increases to their assessment caps. To propose an assessment increase, bids must complete a multi-step review process overseen by SBS. The bid board of directors, which include local property owners, merchants, and residents, as well as representatives from the city controller, borough president, city council, as well as SBS, must review and approve the proposed assessment increase. Additionally, SBS requires all bids to submit a five-part justification outlining how the increase will be allocated, minutes from the board meeting when the increase was approved, and letters of support from all the city council members representing the bid boundaries. SBS then reviews these justifications and determine whether they are sufficient to bring to city council. As required by law, each of the three bids published a notice of this public hearing at least once in a local newspaper having general circulation in the district specifying the time and place of today's hearing and stated the proposed amount to be expended annually. Each bid also certified that they have mailed a letter to property owners informing them about the proposed assessment increase and the time and the place of this public hearing. Due to this requirement, two of the bids, as noted, 125th Street and Dumbo, were removed from the legislation due to insufficient notice of today's hearing. We plan to reintroduce, reintroduce these two additional bids assessment increases at a later time. It is, it is a priority of SBS that assessment increase proposals focus on enhancing programs and services provided to the district. 
the three bids proposing assessment increases are doing so to address vital needs and changing conditions on the ground. The increases will further expand, reinforce, and strengthen the existing core services currently provided in the districts and include funds for streetscape improvements, open street programming, new public events, and added staff capacity. Additionally, portions of these increases will be used to sustain or increase current levels of sanitation and public safety programs and services impacted by the rising costs related to inflation. The proposed increases vary across, according to budget size, district size, and proposed changes in programs and services. The proposed increases are Fifth Avenue Association from $6,414,000 to $8,054,663. Columbus Amsterdam, $350,000 to $650,000. Court Liverston Skimmerhorn from $1,400,000 to $1,800,000. The city's 76 bids invest over $160 million into neighborhood economies in the form of supplemental services and programs that serve nearly 25,000 ground floor businesses across the city. Bids have been a valuable and proven partner in the ongoing initiatives of neighborhood revitalization and economic development across the five boroughs, making New York City neighborhoods cleaner, safer, and more vibrant. Bids are also advocating for small businesses in their districts, helping them to navigate government, facilitating network networking among fellow business owners, providing business retention support, and attracting shoppers to the areas. Bids were critical partners in executing the city's pandemic response and continue to be vital partners in New York City's economic recovery. They are advocates for small businesses um, and stewards of the public space, thought partners, thought partners in our policy decisions, and the city's eyes and ears on the ground in commercial corridors. In partnership with city government, bids help spur job creation, improve the quality of life of New Yorkers and visitors, enhance the city tax base, and strengthens local economies. Representatives from each of the bids requesting an assessment increase are present to answer any questions pertaining to the specific requests. However, I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Do we have any questions from any of my colleagues? Okay, we've also been joined by council members Carr, Barron, Sanchez, and Farias. Um, I think that's everybody, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm now going to ask, uh, if there's no question, I'm gonna ask the immortal Billy Martin committee clerk to call the roll. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on finance. Proposed introduction 655A, Chair Brennan. I vote aye. Ayala. I vote aye. Thank you. Moya. I vote aye. Thank you. Powers. Just a quick second to explain. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, I'll take that as a yes. Uh, I just want to welcome the folks on the Fifth Avenue Association, my district, who are here. This is, uh, assessment is actually about a larger vision for Fifth Avenue, which is something I hope we will be able to accomplish here to make it a very uh, illustrious, uh, although it already is, but an even more illustrious part of my district where we can really lean into a big vision for it. So I want to just, I'm voting aye, but I also want to add that because I think it's an important part of the picture when we talk about that assessment. Thanks. Lewis. Aye. Brooks Powers. Aye. Barron. Aye. Brewer. Farias. Aye. Hanks. Aye. Hudson. Aye. Kagan. Aye. Jose. Sanchez. Aye. Velasquez. Aye. Thank you. Juan. Aye. Carr. Aye. By a vote of 16 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, item has been adopted by the committee. Billy, I want to hold it open because Council Member Ressler wants to give some remarks, but can everyone else go? Good, right? 
Yeah, all right, we're going to hold the vote open, but you guys can go. You're welcome to hang out with me, though, if you want. I see how it is.